it for it to recognize that I'm actually doing things. There we go, it finally recognizes that I'm doing things. Yes, I'm sure I want to do that. Yay, my first piece of a kit gun. Finery. Yeah, might as well make some more of these. Hello everyone. I am Katana, the lightning cat. And why am I doing this without my camera on? Because it kind of gets in the way. Kind of like the broadcast overlay. There, I placed some of those Noggle statues. I didn't buy any of these. They just sort of came with things. And was it rank five or? Some such nonsense. Gun, gun, gun. Shut up, Artis! No one loves you. Who yes, we got this on the thing. Line? Oh yeah. Reward tier I'll five. It's time for Nora to right say there on the... Shut up, Nora! You three dog rip off. Right there on the right. There at the bottom. Admire my statues. Admire them. The, the wolf of Saturn 6. Yes, I learned how you encounter Mr. Wolf. Basically, you just keep doing missions until he pops up and says, Hey, fuck you, I'm gone now. Incidentally, he doesn't pop up in assassinations and free roams. Which sucks. And free roam is what I'm about to go do. Why not? This place is giving me living fucking hell. Why not? And let's discuss some YouTube problems while we go at it. I managed to come across one video stating that well, in the thumbnail, it was stating that the guy who started the next Adpocalypse is being squished. Metaphorically and paraphrasically speaking. I think I need to change the colors of my horseshoe crab in space. And while we're on the subject of YouTube problems... The copyright striking and claiming abuse! MXR Mods, a week ago, posted a video saying that all of his Fallout, or... Was it Fallout? Or was it his, uh, Skyrim? Yeah, it was Fallout videos. All of them were being claimed. I like that shit. I'm gonna go fishing, and I want to capture another boot. Please fuck off, I don't want to deal with you. Where's your other compadres? Fuck off, fuck off. Thank you for your cooperation. I hate dealing with those fuckers. They're fecking annoying. Fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. They're fucking annoying. I just want to fish in peace. Can't they leave me the fuck alone? I'm gonna catch dozens of these things before I get anything worth trading and understanding. Yeah, that's magnificent.
Honestly, I think the points there are arbitrary. Now, MXR Mods is not the only one I've seen saying that the copyright claiming system is being heavily abused. There was another fellow who... I was watching just before recording this. Stream recording, that is. And he was talking about Sony just outright striking his channel for a Dark Souls machinima style mix match or mashup parody of Sword Art Online. In the months it took to even get in contact with anyone, I've noticed the, the same thing in, in the corporatocracy of the world. They do something highly illegal in every way, and then they make it impossible to get in contact with them. Fucking shit. And who was it? The game theorist? It was one of those other YouTubers I watch. They pointed out that societal progression can be observed in an accelerated rate in the arts. Because online arts such as the media and entertainment are such an accelerated social socially accelerated version well, kind of like an all of film some fancy ass math term similar to an all of null but not exactly the same as however it is greatly accelerated, so they go through the various stages of modernism and postmodernism and neo-modernism and post-neo-modernism very quickly. Also, these dyes aren't lasting nearly as long as they used to. They used to last for like 15 freaking minutes. God damn. These are not fucking candy! get put into the category of you fabricate it one time and it has infinite use just like Arc Wings did because that was resource intensive now wasn't it and that only happened after I made over 500 fucking Arc Wing launchers Anyway, the, back to this copyright and striking abuse. It's obvious. Painfully obvious to me. That these companies are doing it because very few are continuing to buy their products. Because their parents are like, hey, you can have this now. I used to have it when I was a kid. Here's my old PlayStation 2, Timmy. Enjoy playing it. Why, thank you, Dad. Shit like that, you know? Just pass on the torch. So companies sell less and less. Where's my fish? I want more fish. But technically, they're robo-fish. And I'm a robo-boy! There's my robo-fish. And I missed. And I missed again. Now there's... Ooh, magnificent. 11.7 points. Arbitrary points that have no meaning. We're going for 
quantity, not quality. Bring us more. We want more. Yeah, so all these companies are just abusing the living crap out of the system. Honestly, I think there's some backroom politics going on that are highly illegal. Oh, look. Those assholes. Time to go kill them. Such as under the table agreements. We're like, okay, yeah. We run YouTube. Well, we'll let you exploit the system, and in turn, you give us a, a degree of the profits. Shit like that. Why am I suddenly inside this flowing glacier of coolant? Get out of here so I can kill you. Thank you. That's one of the things I think is going on. Life Black marketing of friend. YouTube Abusive exploitation. Abusive. An act of guts and trust. Just like the Take it when and where you Black find. Market Mafia of the Riven trades in Warframe. And just like the Black Market that integrated itself into Bitcoin. No, seriously, that one exists really deep. Just like the actual black market. Come on out. There you go. I think there's some really shady and highly illegal shit going on with YouTube. And these companies who are violating terms of service and fair use. Clearly violating the fair use policy. So bad that one dude banged on a few trash cans in a restroom and a music company claimed it. I think everyone is familiar with that one. Why is it that one floating on top? It's the one I just threw out there. The fuck is going on here, man? The fuck? You're mine. Get back here! I want you! Fine, I'll go after the closer one. Come here, little fish. Little robo-fish. I want you. You're mine, little robo fish. Also, I need your parts to make kit guns. Get the fuck over here! God dang it! <coughs> Just another thing. Part of the corporatocracy. Shady backroom deals that never get dragged into light, and they're only theorized about. Kind of like a conspiracy. When it's not talked about, it's real. But when it's talked about by literally everyone, it's hardly ever real. Normally give it about a month and either this copyright abuse will escalate or it'll be abused by the government. Not just one government, but all the governments. Fish. I want all the robo fish. Hey, oh 
was supposed to have had you. Get your feckin' ass over here, mate. Stop squiggling! I got you. You're mine now. Fuck off. Seriously, I've laughed and laughed until I can't laugh anymore. The world's stupidity. Now I'm just heavily depressed. Where the fuck? Are th there it is. There we go. I'm gonna get you. You, you will be mine. Don't fight. Just lay back and accept it. Hey, you get back here. Stop swimming her over there. Come on, come back. Fine, feck off, don't come back. Oh, fish for someone else. Also, I have a guess as to why every year we see an apocalypse scare on YouTube. Because of the corporatocracy and the bureaucracy of the situation. Some behind the scenes people in charge group doesn't want any more success to arise on YouTube. So they're like, okay, let's go manufacture some drama in order to keep everyone from using YouTube. Kinda like how the Wall Street Journal did with Buttes. Look, you, stop avoiding my spear. I'm an angry spear chucker now. Get the fuck over here. No, literally, I'm chucking a spear at robotic fish. The only thing that's missing from here is the thing that was missing from the Avengers Infinity War. Space Legolas. I mean, what what the fuck is his name? The Hawk? No, not the Hawk. He was missing from one movie, and I already forgot his name. I'm calling him Neo Legolas from now on until I remember or get reminded of his actual name. Oh, we're using our made up names? No, Spider Man! His name literally is Doctor Strange. He has a PhD. He's an actual fucking medical doctor of medical science. Tell me, did anyone else find that part of Infinity War absurd when Spider-Man said that Doctor Strange's name was made up? Through the associative, oh, we're using our made-up names, in that case, I'm Spider-Man. Does anyone else find that very strange? Or weird. Or obtuse. Or even perpendicular! Points are arbitrary on these fish! They're meaningless! It's 
that over there? Is that a ripple in the water? I still have dye in the water. Shit should be lasting for 15 minutes each. It really should. Who the fuck are you down there? I just wait right there. Gotcha. You're mine now. Uh, you. Yeah, you're mine. Fuck off, ship! I don't want none of you! Come on, your turn. Time to get stabbed. And electrocuted. For no reason other than I'm a brutal monster who wants to devour your soul. No oh, wait, that's Necros. Just wait right there, beautiful. You're mine now, bitch! Problems weren't enough, the video game industry has become a severe problem. As far as I'm concerned, it's 100% weaponized against people now. $20 microtransactions for a full price $60 game. Fuck you, Anthem! Microtransactions in a full price release shouldn't be any more than a dollar each. At the most. Warframe, however. Eh, let's see, eighty dollars, almost ninety for a prime access pack. And that gets more than just cosmetics. As far as I know, Prime Access gives you additional Platinum, the in-game premium currency, along with the Prime Warframe in question. Let's see, did it give weapons? I don't remember. But it did give a, what was it, a blueprint, a permanently reusable blueprint for the Distilling Extractor Prime. That was when the Rhino Prime access was out. What was it, a year or two ago? Let's compare that to Anthem, since they want to make the free-to-play model their go-to for renewable monetization. <coughs> it is as it is by no means monotization. Mono, what is it, Greek or Latin? The prefix literally means one. And... ...tization, I don't know. But the gist of the, the compound word is to make as one. But that's not where the game industry's going. They're going straight to the money. Give us your wallets, everyone. That's what they want. You can't call it monetization, because it's not making something whole. It's dividing it into little pieces and taking your money for it, so it's monetization. I should know. Because I've read a fucking dictionary, that's why!
Yeah, if only it were that easy to collect these freaking things in mass quantities. I know! Boats and freaking nets! DE, Microsoft! Boats and freaking nets in Warframe for fishing! Boats and nets! Give me boats and nets! I want to catch as many fish in as short a time as possible. And boots! I want boots! Of course, you have to actually miss hitting fish, or not hit fish, in order to get boots, so... I don't consider it a successful fishing trip until I get a boot! Oh yeah, speaking of monetizing YouTube problems, I have noticed through my observations, I don't know if anyone else has observed this thing, let's call it an anomaly until it's confirmed, YouTube no longer gives a shit about what you upload or how you upload it or when you upload it. Because if you're not buying into their... What is it? Their ad program. Where they advertise for you, then your channel just doesn't fucking grow at all. If you're not paying somebody to advertise for you, or not paying YouTube's Google Ads to advertise... Yeah, that's what it was called. Google Ads to advertise for you. Then you're not growing your channel at all. Don't know if that's the truth for everyone, but that's what I've noticed. This Google ad anomaly, as I'm going to call it, because an anomaly is something that's unknown and undefined, and this observation is an unknown and undefined thing that is happening, so it's an anomaly until it is confirmed or unconfirmed, proved or disproven by the scientific method of research and study, testing and observation. I, however, don't have the time or resources or money to test this. Why is my frame freezing over? That is freaking beautiful. Nice attention to detail. Almost as good as horse balls shrinking in the cold. An amusing yet undesired feature. Well, I don't know if it's desired. I don't swing that way. An amusing, yet pointless feature. Well, pointless to me at least, in Red Dead Redemption 2. How much I can... Ooh, Frosty Rhino. <gasps> Hybrid frame combinations. Frost, no. The Frosty Rhino hybrid. Get back here! I want you, fishy. I can't fish this deep. How many of these am I going to collect before I'm satisfied? Let me just chuck my spear over here and get this sappy. And that's disappointing. I'm just going to throw my spear at random. Not really, but in the water, not aiming at fish. And I'm gonna hope that I catch a boot.
Boots are the rarest fish ever. And I have about 50 of them. That means I've had over 50 successful fishing trips. Why are more of these guys spawning in? 10.9 points. Yay! Arbitrary points that are meaningless. Why are you inside the rock? I can't catch you. You shouldn't be able to go inside the rock. That's not fair. You're uncatchable. I don't even have a Pokeball to throw at you. What the fuck is your problem? Hey, D.E. Can we get, like, a hot fix? Or the, the fish going under the rocks so that we can't catch them. I have noticed that in the plions of a noodle on, too. It's highly annoying. To me. It's highly annoying to me. I don't know who else finds it annoying and who else finds it funny. Like, for the first time, it might be funny. After the 18th, time, it's annoying. Also, give me boats and nets. And make this luminous die of permanent reusable instead of having to craft more of them continuously. There, I've complained. Hopefully I've pissed people off to check off things off of an invisible imaginative check imaginative checklist an imaginary checklist that's the word I'm looking for it's not very imaginative it's basically that guy did it so I'm gonna do it I don't remember which other YouTuber had a checklist. Piss off 90% of your viewer base. Check. Done. Ah, I missed it. I didn't even get a boot for it. I want a boot. Give me a boot. Gotta get a great, tasty boot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, the type of boot you catch. I noticed that on the planes, it's Grenier boots. Which, apparently, the Grenier skip leg day. <clears throat> and here, on Orb Vallis... It's frickin' corpus boots. Does that mean when they make an infested and an Oricon open worldish? Actually, it's just a large map. It's not open by any means. It's just a large map. When they make a large map for those two, does that mean that we're gonna get infested boots and corrupted boots? Can we get Captain Force boots? There's another feckin' train. Feck sake, you feckin' train. Feck off. I don't want none of ya. I want my boot. Look, you pool of liquid coolant. Give me my boot. I want my boot. Give me das boot. Das beer boot from fat19.com. Give me my beer boot. Here, have some more luminous dye. Just give me my boot. Hey, buddy.
buddy. You're mine now. Who's gonna be mine four? Is it gonna be boot? No, but it'll be close to being you. Hey! How dare you turn suddenly at the last instant? Give me you. Come to me. You're mine now. I feel like I'm on whose line is it anyway? These fish's names and their existence is made up and the points don't matter. You know, kids, when I was your age, we called them jokes and we feckin' laughed at them. These days, you little feckers just call them memes. And you get fucking pissed off at anyone talking about them. Fuck off. Words of wisdom to live by. From an old, angry, depressed idiot who plays video games and posts videos on YouTube. Look, you can't keep going in and out, okay? You did that 15 times in a minute. And that was like six hours ago. So I'm kind of jaded on letting you back in just so you can go out again. So stop scratching at the door, okay? You, you can be mine. Three points for an adorned thingy. When a basic one, I could get up to seven points. The fuck it is arbitrary numbers! Ryan Styles, can can I can I be on whose line is it anyway now? This video is my entry. Yeah, you swim through the rock. That's it. You swim out there to nowhere. And once again. How many of these have I used? They're not even lasting five freaking minutes, are they? That's right, you swim back into my range. I'll chuck my mighty spear at thee. Basic. I love how my frame is covered in frost. This is beautiful. This is fine. Also, if there's anyone out there who makes Tanagen, w would you mind making like a, a molten? magma like and obsidian with flame skin for every frame like an elemental fire just put a nice label on it and call it fire element make it a skin for all the frames
and then, you know, you could do one for the other elements, or let someone else do it for the other elements. I would love, like, a magma golem looking flaming rhino. That would be beautiful. Also, this sign of Dino on the back, I would love it to be kind of inverted. The flames going out and up instead of down. That would just make my freaking day. A flaming rhino of magma. Liquid hot magma. Say it like everyone. Tractor beam. You gonna give me a boot? Hell the fuck no. I could just run around as a flaming rhino of magma and fire and say, I'm the demon from hell! Be a perfect contrast to being on this planet. In the orb values. I could shorten that a lot and say Ortis. Oh my god. No one loves Ortis. It was funny for the first 15 to 50 minutes of gameplay. And it's still funny when he says, please return covered in blood, but there's there's a, an attachment for that. Adorned for one and a half points. When I can catch a basic one for upwards of ten points. Points, you mean nothing! Ah, basic. Half of a half of a half of a point. Oh look, there's one right there. I'll track my spirit. I got you. You're mine now. I wonder how many I have now. Uh, mission progress. One B grade long wonder. Three A Kriller. Four A Echo Winders. Three B Kriller. One M Echo Winder. Nine B Echo Winder. Nineteen M Sap Caddy. Twenty two A Sap Caddy. How did I get more A than M there? That doesn't make sense to me. And 67B Sap Caddy. A lot more basic. Adorned and magnificent. Okay. So A is intermediate stage here, and M is the highest tier. Magnificent. Hey! How dare you! Get back here! I want all of you! Adorned for four and a half point two points. What the fuck? Points are arbitrary with these fish. Just feckin' arbitrary. Adorned for 2.2 .2 points. Arbitrary numbers! Kind of like the damage tables in Anthem. It's arbitrary! And they claim that the game took six years. But I'm just gonna go out and say, hey, that's bullshit. There's no fucking way you spent six years on a game that bricks fucking consoles like that. 
and just runs like complete fucking shit. Seriously? The game is so fundamentally flawed. Oh, by the way, everyone. Remember in Destiny 1, where there was the loot cave? And remember the Alamo? And you remember 9-11? And you remember Pearl Harbor? Remember the loot cave? Remember that? Now look at Anthem. Look at how the loot cave, which people were using because they enjoyed it, and other people were being bitches about because they didn't want to use it. And look at how that sociology and that pathology of thinking spilled over to the development team and the people making all the decisions to the nerfing of loot drops in Anthem. Remember Anthem? Remember the loot cave in Destiny 1? Remember the Alamo? Remember Pearl Harbor? Remember 9-11? These are all atrocities! Granted, some more extreme than others. Such as Anthem. Far more extreme than 9-11. There are things everywhere that are so much worse than death. Such as the ever slippery, slippery, slippery slope of sociology these days. And how the world is going to shit socially. You know, like all the SJW and anti SJW. And the Feminazis. And Vegeta, I sunk their battleship. Copyright abuse. And the monetization via the implementation of the free-to-play model in a full-price $60 release. <clears throat> All of these things... They're all because people wanted to be a bitch and control someone else or another group of people. That's how wars are started. That's how the social justice warrior and the feminazi mentality got started. That's how corporatocracy and bureaucracy got started. That's how Hitler slaughtered a bunch of Jewish people got started. Because one person or a group of people thought they were so much more better and superior to everyone else. It's all social, sociology, psychology, and that's how this world is ripping its fucking self apart. Seriously, magnificent for 5.9 points? Fucking points are arbitrary. Hey, D.E. Do these points even mean any goddamn thing? I didn't notice the points system being in the Plains of Eidolon. I noticed there being a weight system. Seriously, these points are freaking arbitrary. Magma upload schedule. Okay, fish. I don't want no more fish. I just want one boot.
Okay, give me a boot. Come on. Give me a boot. If I throw this at you, will you give me a boot? Evidently not. I'm curious. If I kill one of those Corpus Nimrods and his body falls into the water, and then I spare the area near where he died, will that give me a boot? Oh look, magnificent for 12 points. Who is getting these points? Why are they there? What are they going to be used for if they remain there? On the plains, it was a... It was a simple matter of... Oh, yes! This one's yay so many kilograms. That puts it into the weight class of large. Small, medium, and large. But here, it's basic... Adorned and magnificent. And the points are freaking arbitrary. Let's see if I can find an. It's much more difficult to see through this liquid coolant than it was to see through the water in the plains. So finding a fish, uh, there's one right there, tracking it and spearing it without luminous dye is a bit more difficult on this planet than on the plains of Eidolon. Not impossible, just difficult. Adorn for three points. Where's my basic for ten points? counting the points anymore. I know they're arbitrary. <laughs> Looks like that Cyandana is keeping my back warm and free of frost. That seems interesting. Spear the luminous die. Missed him. Okay, time to grab you. Thank you. I missed him too. Come on, little pool of water, give me my boot. I want my a boot. You must give me my boot. Magnificent for eleven and a half points. Oh, hey, you. Give me my boot! 
What the hell? D did he despawn as soon as I made contact with him? Or did he exit my max range as soon as I contacted him? Because that was a glitch. I think that he actually despawned as soon as the spear made contact with him. Hey, stop wiggling your way through the rocks and get caught by me. Give me my boot. You, give me my boot. It's not a successful fishing trip until I have a boot. To actually show for it. And yes, I will be decorating my Orbitrar with the boots. And for everyone's informative purpose, for the purpose of informing everyone, for everyone's information, FOR YOUR INFORMATION! I have not bought any boots. I have caught all my boots. Yeah, it's taken a very long time. I put in a great deal of effort and diligence into it. And I have caught all of my boots. Last time I checked it sh was a while ago, and to my memory, it should be more than 50 boots. Ooh. I'm gonna have so many of these to turn in for standing, it's gonna be insane. I'll just ration them out until I'm high enough level to be a profit taker stand as they call it, and actually get the final pieces needed to run the... What's it called? Thingy that lets you take your arc guns and use them on the ground? Yeah, that thing. The... the... something mag. Yeah, the Gravimag. Look. I've lived a long time. I've played a lot of games. I don't remember every freaking thing that's in the world. There's way too much information. Also, I once memorized the entire lowercase and uppercase binary alphabet. You try memorizing that shit and then telling me you can remember anything else in life. Also, there's brain damage involved. I may or may not have multiple times repeatedly jumped off of a refrigerator as a young child. The fact that I can even remember anything these days is a fucking miraculous feat of accomplishment for me. Ooh, 11 points. Ooh, I'm counting points. Yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm counting arbitrary points for no reason! Yep, I'm an idiot. Yet I continue to count them. And they're whales. Oh, yeah, that reminds me of something said by another YouTubing group. 
extra credits. Who focus a lot on video game design and development. And a lot of technical aspects. They said uh, in one video, I'm paraphrasing a great deal here, that a lot of mobile games in the casual market were geared towards the whales of gaming. The people who could literally sit there and spend a few thousand dollars a day on a game. And now we're seeing evidence of that in the triple a games as a live service industry and yes I, i'm inflecting and quoting jim stern this is right and it's fucking hilarious his inflection his tones his tone, his inflections, the controversies that he spells out, the comedic stylings, his demeanor, it's fucking hilarious. And he's right. The industry, the triple A industry, has found a spiral. The way they describe it as a circle of turning players into payers, that circle would require two inputs for minimum viable st sustainability. <clears throat> Those two inputs would have to be at equilibrium. One input, and these are in not in an order because they would both have to be at equilibrium in more than one way. One input is the player paying for whatever microtransactions, DLCs, or whatnot that you put into the game. Microtransactions, DLCs, purchasables. The other is the, the company itself not putting in these predatory damn near illegal some of them are damn near legal and some of them have been made illegal such as loot boxes all these predatory schemes to try and extract more money it would require the removing of all of that. And for the company side input to be content that is worth purchasing. Unlike a red dot ridicule. And we know where that came from. One of the Black Ops games. That's predatory. That's extortion. It's profiteering. And that's illegal. So, the input from the player buying the content. And the input from the company making quality, not quantity, of content. See, we can we, we can take an example of quality content from this game I'm playing right now. Or Valus has quality to it. And this was done as a free update. I'm standing in here fishing in it right now. It's got literal fucking mountains in the background of content. Literally. And those giant space rooms that everyone keeps shooting the balls off of. And what do we as players do? We buy the content that's worth buying. The prime access. 
and various other aesthetic microtransactions such as the skins of Sandanas. The fucking color palettes! That my Rhino Prime is decked out in right now. Quality content. Something that Anthem just doesn't fucking seem to have. Or Fallout 76 for that matter. <laughs> but yeah, that's the two inputs for that circle of sustainable income. It's not growable, it's just sustainable. And it's only sustainable as long as the players feel that they're getting valuable quality content for the price they pay. And 20 fucking dollars for a goddamn armor skin in a $60 full price release triple A title is not fucking quality. It's a fucking abomination. In a full price release of $60 in that kind of game, microtransactions, DLCs should not exceed $5 at maximum. And that's being extremely generous. No matter what the size of the DLC or content that is created. Come out from behind that rock, you little bastard. Look, I'm gonna spear you whether you like it or not. Oh, that's that. I was able to make right on my thread. Come on, little fishes. I'm going to get you. That's not a fish down there. That's an obscure reflection. There's one. Yeah, I should have actually missed that one, but the retraction of the spear actually caught it on the way up. But that can happen if you aim just in the right way. That time it was an accident. Happy little accident. What the feck is that? Is that my reflection? No. Oh, that's my luminous die. These things don't last nearly as long as they should. Anybody else agree with me on that? Can I get a capital F, capital U exclamation point in the comments for people who agree? Yes, I'm only saying it that way to be as funny as possible. No, I don't find it funny myself. I'm jaded and depressed. I don't find it funny at all. Okay. I have to go slightly north and find that cave to go fish spearing in. What? I told you assholes to fuck off. I meant it. Hey, I didn't fall in that water. It fell on me. Okay, where's the 
Where's the mushroom testicles that I have to shoot for stuff? Honestly, I don't give a fuck if I get demonetized for that. Fuck YouTube's monetization system. As soon as they get more, well, any people on Patreon or PayPal or whatever flavor of support you want to grab, I can just say, fuck off to YouTube monetization. And be like, you know what, fuck it. I don't have to give commercials to people, they don't deserve it. Stop throwing glass at me. It's, it's not helping. It's just angering me. See? I shot you because of it. Hiding behind my focus thingy just didn't help you at all. Does your back brain God damn it, it collected it anyway. Do you ah. see that bob and light ahead? Gar floating through the gar 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 it's a sack of gar 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 Wait, what's down here? Can I even get through where it is? I don't think I can. I may be wrong, and there may be a way, but there it is. This way to a thing. Zero focus and well, I don't really care mate. I'm not here for the fuckers. I'm here for the fish. Okay. Now it's time to catch about a hundred completely different fish from the ones that I was catching earlier. It looks like a really old computer mouse with a very flat segmented cable. They call it a scrubber. What is it scrubbing? Hey, like, just like throw it on me back and let it scrub all the corpus nonsense off. Flishing about and get in my inventory. inventory. Now that reminds me. Someone on YouTube was talking about how Steve could cram all that stuff into his inventory when it was clearly several cubic meters worth. But you know what? This game has the same damn problem, but you don't see me complaining! Where's the next one? I can hear it bubbling about. Come on out. I know you're there. There you are. Alright, you just hold still right there. I'll perfect my aim and technique someday. Alright, you get in my inventory, mate. I want you. I don't know why, but I do. Your turn. You're mine now. I'm gonna have so many scrubbers, my ship will never need a car wash. We just throw these on the hole and just sit there for about five minutes. And my ship will be cleaner than ever. Why is the water steaming? But I know technically it's not water, but why are the enormous cloudy vapors coming off the surface of this liquid? Is someone vaping in here? Ethan, get out of the pool! You're clouding up the water! 
Take your mindless vape mod with you. I don't want none of it. I smoke a pipe and sometimes roll them up. Ah, there we go. I can see things again. I can catch things again. Charmote. Charmote. It's a remote? A remote of charredness? Its primary function is to reconstruct the biomaterial used to regenerate Oricon structures. It can be found in cave pools on Venus. Why is it near the Oricon stuff instead of here on Venus? What the fuck is this fish's problem? I think that classifies as slightly law-breaking, don't you? Unless... You know, the corpus were just like, Hey, yeah, I like this fish. It looks cool. I want it. Let's put it on Venus, where we base our operations from. For no reason at all. Hey, come back here. I'm capturing you one way or another. Don't make me get a Pokeball. I didn't record my last fishing trip. Where I got some 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 sort of Oricon relic. And it was in this pool that I'm fishing in right now. Oh look. That bit right there. I could use my mining laser on it. Oh, fuck it. Why not? Well, I'm waiting for more fish to spawn in. I'll just grab you right here. Whatever you may be. Oxidite. Natural. Uh, okay. Man, this pool of coolant is shiny. It has that oily, glossy surface texture. It's really nice. And the blue is so calming and soothing. It provides the perfect contrast for my rhino. And how shiny and red he is. It's aesthetically balancing. Balance. I think I'll make that a running gag or theme. Depending on what mood I'm in. those bananas. You know what this thing is? It's a giant swimming banana. With a face that makes Optimus Prime sad. I don't know why it makes him sad. Maybe it reminds him of his father. I just have no freaking clue. That's my story. I'm sticking with it. Scrubber, come back! Toxicity levels. It can be found in cave pools on Venus. Aqua means water. 
That's the literal translation of the word aqua. I forgot what language it's in, but that's the literal translation. These pools are freaking coolant. It's a verbal lore incongruity. But technically, it's written and I'm reading it. Where, oh, where, oh, where is the next one? Hey, if I spear you, will you give me a boot? Uh, if I spear you again, will you give me a boot? Okay, I'll spear over here. Alright, from here to there. Eh, hang on. Eh, there's someone wanting me to join the party. Hello, hello. Katana, can you hear me now? Oh, yes, I can finally hear you. Okay. I've been fishing for a three hours. Oh my god. Do you think I have enough to max out my level standing with the faction? The answer is no. I don't no. know. Hey, I guess right. Dude, I'm on the biggest grind in the world of zombies. I'm about to. You know that pack I was talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I'm about, I'm about to unlock Torchwood 800 goat for free. Nice. I, mean, I, I need to get rainbow stars, which if I, if I want to get like 500 right now, that there'll be half a million coins, which is like, which is like 10 bucks. Six, or like, yeah. Yeah. 10 darush? Just... I'm trying to catch a boot. <laughs> Honestly, I think my grind is larger comparatively to your grind. It really is. I am glad you agree. Hey, hey, Ippy, do you want to come? Do you want to come and um? Do, do you want to go on the grind for Rainbow Stars? Cause I'm about to unlock Torchwood. All right, I like to hear that answer. Let's get the show on the road. For two freaking. I've already noticed and stated several times that the gr the not the grind, the freaking points on these servo fish is arbitrary wait you're, wait which which fish are you going after I'm like in the plains or the um the fortuna plains. yeah fortuna the point values are arbitrary jesus why are the point values even there It's an this overload of redundant and useless information. And I know what redundant and useless is because I memorized the binary alphabet, upper and lower case. That was a pointless, redundant, and useless waste of my time. Unlike catching boots. Boots are. I, I feel like. I, boots are all in this game. Boots are money. Yeah.
Be, 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 what? Be, what? How, how much? How much money does? Um, how much money does like what one do for you? I think. Nah, not like selling them. Like it requires a great deal of standing, and you have to be max standing rank with whatever faction that you want to buy a boot or the trophy from. Yeah, it's it's fucking absurd. Why would I pay a hundred thousand standing for a boot? Or fifty thousand standing for a boot when I can catch it for free and then use it to decorate my boot. One boot for every ten thousand grenier or corpus that I've slain. Still, that's a lot of boots. You said it. Yeah. Have you caught all of your boots today? No. Because I can't. Because, because I'm probably not even hop on Warframe today. Because I'm I'm working on the world's biggest grind to to get the go and get the go at Torchwood. If I'm about to unlock Torchwood. That my grind is bigger than yours. Because it involves boots. That's right. Dude, boots are so expensive nowadays, like well like like see see where you go get some actual like boots at um at Walmart or something. Dude, dude they're like hundred bucks per boot. What boots are you buying? No, I don't I don't even own a pair of boots. I do. No, a good place a good, a good place to buy boots that's like specific for here to see is like French's or something. I don't buy boots for fashion. Frame. No, no. No, Frenches is for, for um, fashion. Frenches is like for like all your big work shoes and all sorts of stuff. Why is this zombie holding a waffle? I don't know. Maybe he died at an eye. <laughs> yeah, playing plants versus zombies, right? Yeah, I'm aware of that. Come on, poke your little transformer head out. I'll just spear you through the rocks. This is the only place I can do that. Heck yeah, I'm gonna catch you through that rock. No, no, do you know how mad I got yesterday? Did you start throwing things? No, 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 so, 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 so this is like the official EA game of EA games. I, I went open up, I went and opened up like 35,000 coin pack, okay? I, I, I opened it and I was expecting a legendary and I did. Collins was it wasn't a legendary character. It was a hat. For a character I didn't even own. <laughs> EA pulls another leg. The uh, dude, not even EA spiders EA have as many the, legs as EA wants to pull. I mean, maybe uh a uh, a tentacle hentai beast would have enough tentacles to yank, but EA don't want to go near that. You know what EA's perfect game is? It's a slot machine. That was that too. No, it's a slot machine where you don't get anything in return. You just give them money and pull a lever and watch the wheels spin around. 
spin round and round. It's you, you know that reminds you of. It There's reminds no you gratification. There's no satisfaction for anyone other than EA's executives who own stock in the company. That's EA's perfect game. And I'm not fucking that joking. Or even. I'm not making a meme or a joke. I'm stating an absolute fucking fact. Yes, that, that, that is true. No, no, it's basically the Final Fantasy slot machines. It's, you'll never get anything out of it, no matter how hard you try. <laughs> no, seriously, I was playing Final Fantasy yesterday before I locked the hover goat and stuff. Those are hover really goat. goat. Did it come with Goat yes. Simulator? Um, actually, I, I think there's a dual pack where you, can, where you can buy Place with the Zombies, Ultimate Deluxe Edition, and, um, and the Goat Simulator, and it gives you the Ever Goat Readout. Okay. I so you were playing it. Final Fantasy before you got their Hover Goat, and what happened? I rolled Waka's slot machines 25 times. Not one. Did, you, did, did I hit? Did I hit more than 200 damage? And, and keep in mind, keep in mind that that, that my, my walk is still pretty, so pretty. It's still on the E side. But he, does, but he does have, but he does have over 500 mana. But he's not a huge section. I have no idea what any of that means. It means, it means I, have, I have 500 magic points. It, it, and basically, I was, I was rolling the slot machines so much to the point where I didn't even mark anything worthwhile. They didn't give you anything at all? It, it gave me something. The problem was, it's not really worth it. Oh. It gave me one of the strongest weapons in the game. The champion. For another character. <laughs> For Waka. So for the weakest is, character, it gave you his strongest weapon. Is that what I'm hearing? No, no, no. the weakest character is the weakest character is basically Riku, who's basically, basically, he, I have a knife. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go stab the world's biggest creature. Is basically what it's like. Oh, so it's like taking a butter knife to. A semi truck that's coming at you at 80 miles an hour. Yeah, basically. Okay. Well, it turns. Well, well, it, well it turns out that that I had most of the items too on my well, Waka's um full ability, where it's like SOS Overdrive, which overdrives are basically well, you should know if you've ever played a Final Fantasy game. There are I, limit breaks. I've played a Final Fantasy game that was in, I think it was the Sega Super or Sonic collection that was on Xbox 360. There were a couple of Final Fantasy games in that one. Sega Dreams collection, maybe? I don't remember what the collection was called. There were too many Sega collections remade for the Xbox 360. Ow. Yeah, I shouldn't have yelled. Hey, hey, Tom, is that, is that one of you still, still driving around the donuts right by your house? I don't know. People move in, and they move out almost immediately. It's, it's insanely difficult to keep track of anyone in this shithole I'm living in right now. Because, you know, they'll move in, they'll realize that it, it's a profiteering scam that's run in the Mafia stylings. That's how Mafia works. Yeah. 
that that oh it's it's only family running this place it's literally a whole fucking family and they're not hiring professionals to come in and do repair jobs they're doing it themselves and quite poorly at that I've watched them do some repair work it's very very poorly done it caused more problems than it solved and that's not me being belligerent or exaggerative about it that's actually what fucking happened dude replaces two heating elements in the hot water heater and now it's permanently dripping a leak and it's going to cause the paneling under the floor to deteriorate and rot as it's wood. Or press board, which is basically wood that's been ground up and then pressed together. It's going to cause the floor to rot out underneath the wow. hot water heater. Yeah, that's how fucking pathetic these fucking ignorant ass backwards hick type morons yeah, 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 hey, yeah, hey, we, we got an eight year old party bro. I really you know life life is crap now I have to get used to that I'm not gonna shield everyone from it I know, the sooner, but still. You, the sooner yeah. you realize the truth the sooner you can deal with it and play the game getting over it with Bennett body and rage at everything forever so anyway, yeah. Talking to these people solves no problems. It creates more problems because they're self righteous and impudent. Talking doesn't solve, it creates. Exactly. Kind of like how, you know. Uh, Anthem is doing, you know, just the whole player base decided, you know what, we're going to boycott the game because telling you to leave these things in that we enjoy isn't working. Like, talking solves new problems. Not anymore. Telling the truth and being honest never worked to begin with, but... A lot of people tell you, use your words. Honesty sets you free. No, it fucking doesn't. It imprisons you. And I've actually been in prison for being honest. Yeah. Yeah, I was defending my own life. I told the truth. And I wound up in prison for it. you want now? He's just gonna have to wait, man. Bolto's are not have meowing at me. I don't know why. Crap, I got bitten rear-end by a unicorn chopper. Bitten by a unicorn. That, that's a phrase that I never thought I'd hear any human say ever. I've heard a human say, be yourself, unless you can be a unicorn, then be a unicorn. I've heard someone say, I'm a unicorn with diarrhea. But I've never heard anyone say, I was bitten by a unicorn. <laughs> yes, I was bit by a unicorn chopper. Again, that's a phrase I never thought I would hear. I'm, I'm not going to EA reward you for playing the first game. Rewards you um, for playing got... the first what? First game of Garden Warfare. So basically, if you reach rank, rank 313, which is completing all challenges for all for all characters, you got the Unicorn Chopper. I 
Okay. In 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 EA shut down pop caps bejeweled. What? Yes. EA shut down pop caps bejeweled. EA shut down pop caps bejeweled. Dead serious. Why? That game makes me feel euphoric. They say, say, so, so, and something written by EA saying that that EA had rights to to that game because these PopCap did this and Pop did that. And when 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 reality all when re reality all PopCap gave EA rights to was the was the Plants vs Zombies series. Nothing else, just Plants vs Zombies. Okay, that's like what happened recently with. Uh... Sony claiming this one guy's content when they just clearly don't have the rights to it. Or music companies claiming the rights to someone's content on YouTube when they're banging on trash cans. Quite literally, that actually did happen. Happened. Yeah, yeah, one, one of my friends got copyrighted because of it. Yeah, the... the the bullshit. It just doesn't stop. And and they don't stop what? when you, they they're called out on it. They're not honest or open or transparent. They're devious, underhanded, and sadistic. Yeah. And they lie at every corner they can. And just because you lie using bureaucraties doesn't mean that you're not lying because you're using vagaries of terminology to circumvent telling the truth openly and honestly it just means you're a human garbage heap of shit EA but certainly this stream is going to be going on YouTube so yay Wait, did you include your audio? Yes, I have included my audio. But, are uh, you know something sad about EA? They exist? That, and... That's not and so untrue! <laughs> <laughs> yes. But something sad about EA is their company is, is dying because of a decision that they made with with certain games. It's because they're being devious, underhanded, and they're going with the corporatocracyized model of turning players into payers. No, 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 no soon, soon EA won't have rights to, to Plants vs. Zombies anymore. They only have rights to the games that they created. Do you know why? Because all the other companies Pop realized Pop. as soon as you have anything to do with A, it's a death sentence to your company. No, no, so what PopCap is doing is is if they're gonna work on the production of of Play vs. Zombies 3, what they're gonna be doing is they're actually going to be teaming up with Respawn, who the creators of Apex and Titanfall. Huh. They're gonna be teaming up with them to do it. Because there have been myths about GW, GW3 coming out, but like, that was only, that was only rumor. Myth. Did, did that menace die just not even hit the water? Liquid, whatever? Yeah, apparently there's a glitch. Um, Hold that's up, just a tick. Yes, I know, it's coolant. Well, it's a liquid. Hell, even some of the references in the in-game lore call it water. Or allude to it as water, as one might say. The scrubbers. The little thingy at the bottom right of the screen. When you catch a scrubber, as I'm doing right now. Analyzes the growth of microbes dwelling in the aqua system. Now, if you look up the word aqua, it quite literally translates water. as water. 
<laughs> it can be found in cave pools on Venus. The only liquid on this planet at the moment, mind you, is at coolant. the moment, is liquid fucking coolant. You are correct. It is not aqua. It's Spanish. I remember the language. It's Spanish. Oh, oh, but I got a question. Has 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 the new war, or has has that quest I opened up yet, or no? I have no idea. I didn't even watch He's the dev stream no yesterday. <laughs> I've never watched any dev stream actually. You said you what? Oh wait, no, you watch the developer updates, not dev streams. I'll watch YouTuber talking about some dev stream from time to time. Maybe. If the moon turns purple and with pink polka dots. Maybe. Mike Wazowski. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh, but it did. I, I I don't know when you said purple with pink polka dots. I I, I, thought, I, I thought purple with blue polka dots. Actually, it's not Mike Wazowski. It's the other monster, the big furry one. I forgot his name. Um, Sully, I think. Sully, so, yeah. He actually looks like he's purple and pink, and he's polka dotted. What? Yeah, he kind of looks like he's purple with pink polka dots. I may be remembering the colors inverted as photo negative. Sometimes I'm really my memory so close does. To getting, to getting Torchwood. I'm literally one game away. It doesn't matter if I win or lose to, to, to EA's crappy game system. But, yeah. but all I can tell is. is EA gave me all, all the level 6,000 super cream. Did they? Yeah, because, because let's see here, we got we got a level 254, a, lo a level 1,027, a level level 6,625, a level 200, a level 2,000 and flashlight. This, this picture of my frame in this liquid pool area, this just looks beautiful. You should screenshot that crap. Yeah, I can't screenshot it while I'm streaming, but I have already taken a couple of screenshots. <sighs> Hold still, little scrubber. You're gonna clean my ship. <laughs> Well, his name is Scrubber, so I'm gonna put his ass to work. <laughs> That's mean. That's mean. It's not mean. The AAA gaming industry is doing it to everyone. They're, they're making you basically a, a slave and making you pay for it. Think I'm wrong? Yeah. Analyze it. No. Think about you're it. You're right. You're doing an absurd amount of grinding in a video game, where video games are literally a product and a service to your unalienable right of the pursuit of happiness. That, they're violating the Declaration of Independence there, which is constitutionally protected, so they're also disobeying the fucking Constitution. They're enslaving you to do a task that you originally wanted to do because it was fun, but now it's being perverted into work. Slavery. And they're making you pay them to do this grindy bullshit. You're being a slave and you're not even getting compensated. You are compensating the slavers. What's so horrible about what I just said? It's all 100% true. Oh, yeah, definitely. 
But the even scarier and more horrific beyond that's true is that the gaming industry is going to exactly prove my words verbatim very soon. Because if you haven't noticed, the gaming industry has weaponized games as a means to extract money from everyone. It's 100% yeah. weaponized. It's a psychological weapon. It's a very subtle thing until it is too late to detect. And by that point, everyone is suffering from it. It's already too late, mate. All the people who are boycotting Anthem, it's way too late for that. They should have been boycotting as soon as Destiny 1 took away the loot cave. And yes, it's entirely relevant because it's the exact same scenario. And no, I don't it, have it plus, to say it, it plus, with that emphasis and tone, but it plus it was aren't Warframe and Destiny. We, we are um, Destiny and Anthem. Aren't they basically just just copy and paste a Warframe except different textures? No. Now, now, Anthem is basically... They're similar, that but they're basically. not copy and pasted. Anthem is a almost copy-paste of Destiny. Almost. It's, it's similar in a lot of regards. Anthem and Destiny are similar in some regards to Warframe, but they're not copy-paste. There's, there's a really big line a really thick, well-defined, beefy line that never skipped leg day that divides the two of them. And that is the full price of $60. And the fact that Warframe continuously pumps out free content updates. At the cost Whereas, of, our, of, of our internal storage space. Yeah, that, that's a cost that you can calculate. Whereas in Destiny, you buy the base game, you pay for a DLC, which was originally planned as a living MMO-esque continuous free update. And then what yeah, do they do? Yeah, I saw that article. Yeah, that what do they do after that? Bull crap. They switch to the Xbox oh, One, hey. and we're, then we're, made you re-buy the entire DLC. game. And then they said, oh, in order to get the latest content, you have to move to Xbox One, buy the game all over again, buy all the updates all over again, and then buy the newest update. What was that, the Iron Lords or Iron Banner update? That um, they no, didn't was, give to the 360? Yeah, the Rise of Iron update. They forced you to move from the 360 to the Xbox One and buy the game all over again. And then completely redo your everything. Log. Everything. Which I kind of found Did anyone that buck the abuse of authoritarian power at that point? No. They went right along no. with it because they're mindless sheep. Now they're starting to buck. They should have been bucking. 15 years ago. They, they, they should have been doing it when Red Dead 1 came out. Well... He's like, he's, well, did, did, Red, did Red Dead 1 and Destiny 2 have, like, very similar release dates? I don't know. I, I do know, know that, that, that work very far in far. Destiny 1, they should have bucked every decision made radically as soon as it was made. But in Destiny 2, they apparently started bucking a little bit sooner, but not nearly hard enough to make the gaming industry realize, hey, we exist only because the gamers buy the game. We create the game because the bu gamers are buying the game. The game exists as a service and a product to the service of everyone's pursuit of happiness, 
which in the Declaration of Independence is an unalienable right. Now, due to the flexibility of society, evolution, development, and growth of the human species as a whole, a lot of words in the Declaration of Independence should be changed to reflect a global community and even a galactic community because humanity wants to progress wait, that wait, far. Wait, wait, Katana. Katana, I'm about to open up the torch with three, two, one. Sweet. But, going on with it, what is playing a game but anyone's pursuit of happiness? So, Something Destiny joy, 1... Happiness, life... Destiny 1 should have had the loot cave in, and people shouldn't have been little bitches and just let people who wanted to use it use it, and the people who didn't want to use it should have just pissed the fuck off. I can hear them, but I can't see them. Not yet. Anyway, so now... In Anthem, the same situation with the loot. People said, oh yeah, we found a glitch or a bug or, or something in the coding that lets us get more loot. Leave it like it is. Because their highest level of loot was random rickrolled to hell and back. Seriously, this one guy showed how he got a plus zero fire damage modifier for zero seconds on a flamethrower. Useless, random number generated garbage. And that's where random number generation needs to be heavily moderated and controlled so that that, that type of BS doesn't happen. Get over here, you Maya Wanda. I want you! I don't know why, but I want you. <laughs> I got a frickin' crewman's boot! Yes! Nice. While the Valis Coolant has kept this finely engineered corpus tactical boot remarkably well preserved, it is nonetheless entirely worthless. I disagree 100%. It is worth Pride, gloating, and glory to me. It's bragging rights is what it is. I have my boot. My fishing trip is successful. I can go home now. Congratulations. Thank you. Drive through me, excuse me, Lucius. Hold on. Dude. You, you can't do that. Do I, do I need to wait before I start playing it? Yeah, a very long time. These corpo fuckwits are harassing me again. The cries of ambulance were for you. I'll take this guy. Anyway, yeah, as much as the industry is shitting on itself because the downward spiral of stupidity and moronic choices that are being made is a spiral as Jim Sterling points out if there's one thing I've learned yeah you know, on top of this the, the cherry on the the crim brulee as it were the icing on the cake the final kick to the bollocks of everyone while they're down and writhing in agony from being sprayed in the face with bear mace. 
is the fact that the industry is completely fucking to death. They just don't care. And they're ignoring everyone. Well, at least EA is. Okay. Let me see. I got 108 B grade sap caddies, 26 M grade, Cheramote, 2 M grade, Echo Winder, 20 B grade, 5 of those Kriller, 40 of those sap caddies, 4 more of those Echoes, 7 Krill, 4 Echo, 11 Scrubber, those scrubbers, they're mine. Two long winder, thirty-one mire winder, eight mire winder, twenty charas, three krill, eight mire, fifty-one scrubs, fifteen scrubs. Hey, palindromatic, inverse uh, numbers there. Fifteen and fifty-one are inverts. Four chars and one crewman's boot. Size small. Terribly sorry to point this out, but my foot is a size large. I'm gonna have to go fishing for a whole nother boot. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> Making friends can be a simple thing. Be kind. Oh, Watching I've caught some brickies. Oh yeah, that was left careful. over from a Share previous fishing pets. trip. They'll remember. Well, this specimen's quite complex. Heavily modified. Fascinating. Hmm, when did I last see one of these? The Oricon deployed automated clean as much as we do. Their designs influencing the workings of much of our own. A rare catch indeed. Well, this specimen's quite complex. Heavily modified. Fascinating. Yeah, just mm, one of those since I only have two. These. The Oricon deployed automated clean as much as we do. Their designs influencing the workings of much of our own. A rare catch indeed. I have 26 magnificent sap caddies. Apparently the rating is um, B for basic, A for adorned, and M for magnificent. Well, this specimen's quite complex. Heavily modified. Fascinating. Okay. Um, is it just me, or are the standing rewards for fishing on Venus significantly less than the rewards on Earth? You're actually right on that one. Standing rewards are, like, I, I, I think they're like a quarter. No, I think they're thirty-five percent worse on standing rewards, and then I think for a whale or something, it's like it's like twenty-five percent less. Shout out when you're done. Okay, I actually want to keep some of these. <clears throat> There we go. Yeah, I love the torchwood. Okay. I needed Exa Brian's. I'm going to call them Exa Brian's. And I needed Venado's cases for components to 
make some kit guns. Quite get used to the smell. If you have a spare third or fish, kit guns secondaries or primaries? I think kit guns are secondaries. Decent. Needs maintenance, but in good condition. Okay, I'm not going to provide any more for servo fish. Good choice. The, the reward is almost 50% of the amount you'd get on Earth for fishing. <clears throat> DE, I don't know if Microsoft had anything to do with that, but boost the awards from providing servo fish to the business by like at least double. This needs to be a viable alternative to actually going out into the frickin' open map area and getting my head blown off by angry corpus scum. No, seriously, the, the, the corpus in this open map area this large open ish map area. Dude, dude, they're broken overpowered. Yeah, they are. They seriously are. I could see the orb mothers, the the profit taker orbs. I could see those being over leveled because they're bosses. They're supposed to be powerful. But the fucking trash mobs of the open world map are so unbearably overpowered. I needed that stuff to make kit guns, so I'm gonna go and leave for tuna. For tuna. Is it bumblebee tuna? Fort, fort tuna fish casserole. Oh dear God, no! I might do a tuna <laughs> salad sandwich, but I will never do a tuna fish casserole. No. You uncultured swine. I may be uncultured, but I'm not a swine. Do I have a curly tail? No. Do I run around yes. on all fours? <laughs> no. Do I eat my own shit? Bloody fucking hell no. Unless it's for survival purposes. Not even then. You're fucking crazy. I'm not gonna eat my own shit. I'd do it. <laughs> Mate. There's a bunch of fleshy bags of meat and fat walking around that call themselves humans. That's far more palatable than shit. I still eat it. I would not and will not be eating feces. Not there, for any. This is Gabriel's drive through voice. Sometimes I use my voices for evil, man. I won't lie. If I don't have my way, like when I go to drive throughs and they screw up my order, oh, I'm evil. <laughs> I go back around and I start ordering, but I throw them off by doing this, right? They'll come on the speaker. Look at a fantastic burger. How can I help you? And I'll do this. Hello, sir! <laughs> can I please have a double cheeseburger and order fries and a shake? <laughs>
got to be careful, you know? And if you're going to drink and you're thinking about driving, don't do it. You know, it's not a good idea. Because like I said, you know when you're drunk. You know when you're drunk. You're doing laps in the parking lot and you can't find the exit. Hello? <laughs> Some of you make it out to the streets. You know when you're drunk, you're like, you know. <laughs> Behind you, you hear her. Uh, If you hear, if you hear the magical sound, one of two things will pop in your head. Either one, I'm okay, I'm fine. I can beat this. Or two, I'm gonna go to jail. I'm gonna go to jail. I'm gonna go to jail. I gotta let you go, babe. I'm gonna go to jail. If you can make the police laugh, you have a chance. If you do get pulled over for drunk driving, okay? Pull over as slowly and as safely as you can. Get over the other. Now, if you know for a fact that you are gonna go to jail, okay? You're already, I'm gone. Have a little fun. I don't mean take off in a high speed pursuit. No, 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 don't do that. Cause you're not gonna get very far. I mean, if you're drunk and you know you're gonna go to jail, you know? you have tinted windows have a little extra fun take off your seatbelt jump over to the passenger side throw your seatbelt back on and just wait for the cop you have no idea how bad you're gonna throw his ass off you guys he's gonna come over to the driver's side with a flashlight in Okay, how many people? Four? Okay, two here. 
here, two here. How many? Five? Okay, three there, two there. We get to the front. How many people? Who cares? We get our own boat, right? We take off. Tennessee, 
I got you. No support. Ain't nothing. And two, the guy was drunk. I just don't deal with drunk people, man. Uh -huh. When it comes to drinking and women, ladies, when you go out, make sure you take one guy with you. You need to take one guy, even if he's, oh my God, you need one. Because a group of you get together, there's always one girl who will elect herself the team captain, right? Try to rally the troops. Get everybody together, you know. Okay, look. <laughs> Check it out. This is a shut up. <laughs> this is what's going to happen. We're going to take my car, so leave your car. My car, leave your car. Ready, ready? Let's go. Okay, let's go. 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 Let's go
given recent events, I have to conclude that anything is probable. Before I go off, um, buddy, do, do you agree with the, uh, the mod cards and capacity thing that I'm talking about? You already said you agreed with the other fellow stating that we should have extra slots just for the augments. But do you agree with the way I'm talking about it? Hello? Oh, he did say he'd be right back. Well, we're just gonna have to cliffhanger his answer. Till next time, everyone. Feel free to feck right off.